is from Paddington in London and is General Secretary of his union. Like many of us, he left, the, he left school at the age of 16 in 1978 and became an apprentice electrician. He worked in engineering and con in the construction sectors, but following being blacklisted, he moved to the railways in 1983, sorry, 1993 in train maintenance on Eurostar. He became active in his union and he founded the Eurostar branch and won trade union recognition. Having won two Having won two terms on the NEC of his union, he was elected Assistant General Secretary in 2015 and after 37 years on the tools, he was elected General Secretary in May 2021. Derek. His leadership skills have been widely praised during the current RMT dispute. Comrades, let's give a big warm welcome the General Secretary of the RMT, Mick Lynch. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a great honour to be with you today. Okay. We've had enough of you, look. Thank you, everybody. I am absolutely honoured to be among you, to be with the Durham Miners, celebrating our working class heritage, celebrating our history, and a message must go out from this big meeting. We are back. The working class is back. And as you just heard from Sharon and the other speakers, we refuse to be meek. We refuse to be humble, and we refuse to be poor anymore. The P&O dispute of a few months ago, well, it wasn't a dispute. It was a ruthless disposal of working class people. And people say to me every day on the telly, on social media, when are you going to negotiate? Well, I'll tell you what happened there. On March the 18th. We were supposed to meet with P&O and negotiate and consult on new technology, new vessels. And what did they do on St. Patrick's Day? We had a St. Patrick's Day massacre of jobs, of standards, of legislation. And what it's shown is that this Tory government will not lift a finger to defend any worker in this country, in any sector or any industry. We cannot trust them as far as we can throw them. And people are asking me, who's your preferred candidate for Tory leader? I don't give a monkeys who's the, Lord, the leader of the Tory party. We are sick and tired of old Etonians, old Harrovians. I was nearly going to say something else, but there we go, we'll stop there. The privately educated. The Oxbridge elite, people who've never worked, they've never done a hand's turn in their life, telling the men and women of this country, we've got to tighten our belts, we've got to make sacrifices. And why? So that they can maintain the profits of their friends, they can maintain the dividends, and they can lash it out to each other. We've never had such an elite, such a band of super rich, such a band of billionaires in this country as we have now. And what do we have in our communities? Cities, villages, towns, counties, working class men and, people and women having to go to food banks, having to use state benefits while they're working 40, 50, 60 hours a week. This cannot stand. It cannot be tolerated anymore. They are ruthless in their pursuit of profit and we have to be ruthless in our pursuit of equality and social justice for every man and woman and child in this country. Our current disputes on London Underground, on the mainline railway with Network Rail and the train operators, we have 62% of our membership in dispute now taking strike action. What we need to see is this fight back.
They want to rip up our jobs with compulsory redundancies. They want to give us no pay rise that meets the cost of living crisis. And they want to rip up our conditions. We're not going to tolerate that because that's what faces every worker in this country. The RMT is ready to lead and we will lead. But we need, we need the big battalions of the union movement with us. We must campaign and fight in every area of this country. We must make every worker a member of a union. Every member of a union an activist. Every activist a campaigner. And if necessary, we have to turn every campaign into a coordinated programme of strike action so that we can win back equality. The best answer to, to the cost of living crisis is not occasional dole outs from Rishi Sunak or ever sitting in number 10 today. It's through the pay packet of working class people. We need pay rises every year that meet the challenge of the cost of living. And we need our unions to put these flags, every single one of them, in all of the working class communities of this country. Our flag, independent of any politician, with our values, our history, our culture, showing the way for working people. And if the politicians of any stripe want to get in our way, we'll roll them out of the way and get them our own politics. So we say to Keir Starmer on the front bench, you need to find your message. You need to find your voice. And it's got to be the voice of the working people in struggle. Or you have no place in our movement. Enjoy your day today. Bathe in the sunshine. The sunshine's on the good. That's why the Tories are stuck in a bunker in Westminster in the dark. But from here, you've got to lift up your hearts. Lift them up. Believe in yourselves. Believe in our class. Believe in our movement. Go back to your communities. Get into your branch meetings. Get all your co-workers into our unions. Get along to your regional councils. Kick the full-time officers into activity if that's what it takes. These campaigns will be built from the bottom up. When we roll, we're our strongest. When we're together, when we're united, we are an unstoppable force in this country. So let's build for our people. Campaign everywhere from the tip of Scotland to the south of England. Let's get these campaigns going and win for our people. Rise up, solidarity. I'll never forget the relationship that we had during the Triple Alliance. We we'll stand shoulder to shoulder with you.